What we have here are all the units that comprise of the magnetic pulsar. We have the coil with its lead, about one meter length. We have the inverter. We have the power supply. We have a 12 volt lead, which you can connect to a 12 volt battery to power up the unit. We're going to the, the coil of the magnetic pulsar. It's approximately 32 centimeters uh, long. Its weight is approximately 1.1 kilos, very heavy. And we have the coil, which is 2.5 millihenries, with a 14 American wire gauge winding. This gives us a greater current uh, feed through and reduced power losses. This is the reason I went with this bigger gauge. We have a CD here for size comparison. As you can see, it is pretty large, but very, very effective. And this is the connector we're going to be using to connect to the inverter. All right, this is the inverter unit. It's approximately 19 centimeters from head to toe, and it's 5 centimeters wide. The weight of the unit is 330 grams. Uh, over here we have the input, the power switch. The fan outlet is this external ring here. Coming to the front of the unit, this is where the coil plugs in, the inlet for the fan. So, we have the main capacitor, which is an EPCOS 680 microfarad, 450 volt capacitor. The inverter circuitry and the control circuitry with the LED, which will indicate the status. With the unit, we're going to have a power supply shipped to you, and also you're going to have a 12 volt uh, cable with a fuse protector, which you can connect the 12 volt battery simply by attaching positive lead where the fuse uh, comes out, and a negative, and you plug that into the inverter. All right, how do we connect everything? Take the plug for the coil. And mind you, this goes in one way only. You have to twist it around to find the right socket joint. There you go. Twist it, and it should lock. To remove it, pull back on the gray lever. Turn it. Comes out. Put that back in. Powering up the unit. Plug it in. Press the button. Simple as that. LED should turn on. As you can see, every time the LED switches off, there's a discharge. And you can actually hear the discharge by clicking. Now, there are two power modes for this inverter. The first power mode is the default power mode. When you power the unit directly without pressing the power button, uh, we have the high power mode of 445 volts, which should give you about 2.6 seconds between each pulse. The second power mode is achieved by unplugging the unit, pressing the power button, plugging it in, observing the LED blinking twice, that indicates low power mode, and then powering it on again. You'll notice the shorter power bursts of 1.6 seconds indicating low power mode. This next uh, clip here we're going to show we're going to demonstrate the power of the unit in the two power modes. We're going to first demonstrate 350 volt mode power. So, plug it in, switch it on. Now, I'm using an aluminium block over here, 3 millimeters thick by 8 centimeters by 4 centimeters. And it is an aluminium block. As you can see, I'm using a magnet to try to pick it up. It's not picking up. Here's a metallic object. Picks it up. So, this is an aluminium block. I now place the aluminium block on the coil. Once again. The next test is at 445 volts.
concludes the demonstration.